Pisces, you are going to be celebrating in the month of April. Let me tell you, your life is just golden. There's something shaping up in your world where you just feel on top of the world, in complete harmony and balance with who you are and what you want to accomplish in the world, you're getting centered again. And you are going to notice this in the month of April for sure. Welcome to your April forecast, guys. And if you don't know who I am, welcome to my channel. I'm Maria De Simone, and I am a professional astrologer. So I love bringing astrology to life for you each and every month here on my channel. This month, we are starting with a new moon that falls in the sign Aries, which for you, Pisces, is going to land in your second house of earned income, talents and abilities, and self-worth. So there's a jump start to your confidence, to your ability to say, okay, I'm going to implement some new opportunity to make money. I'm going to be more assertive about cultivating a talent or ability, about asking for a raise, about launching a new product or service, and you will do it very successfully. So I want you to use that new moon as much as you can for career financial advancement. But the real juice of this month for you guys starts on the 5th when Venus enters Pisces, enters your sign, and the main event astrologically, in fact, one of the biggest astrological events of all of 2022 occurs on April 12th, and it is a conjunction between Jupiter and Neptune in Pisces. So Jupiter is the planet of expansion and growth and is currently moving through your sign, literally blowing up your life and, and waking you up to its potential. It's waking you up to the possibilities of your life. And you are seeking growth. You are seeking experience and new adventures in, in a lot of ways, especially spiritually. Neptune is the planet of spirituality and together, these two energies are going to collide on the 12th in a rare alignment in your sign to create magic, to create some kind of dream come true, magnificent energy that you are absolutely going to benefit from. And I do feel that primarily it is spiritual magic, but don't dismiss that because you might have an intuitive awakening that changes your whole life. You are opening yourself up, Pisces, to, to things that maybe you never really gave much credence to. Maybe you're exploring your faith and all that is hidden in a way that is just much more embracing. And your intuition is truly being awakened now. So this is a sensitizing transit it is an energy of expanded compassion for others, sensitivity to the suffering of other people, but also sensitivity to yourself. You're being really kind to yourself, Pisces, and that's something that I think has been long overdue. You needed to show yourself radical kindness a long time ago. And as, as a rule, Pisces, you're generally somebody who will do for others and take care of others before yourself because you are you are so empathic you're so able to feel the suffering and the pain of other people and you just want to make it better and so there's a draining energy that happens with that when you're not protecting yourself psychically and spiritually and you may have come to a point in your life Pisces where you have been so energetically drained that it led to emotional exhaustion physical exhaustion uh, physical health problems, spiritual bankruptcy problems, okay? So if that has happened to you in the recent past, all of this Pisces energy that I'm seeing now in your sign coming together is fixing that. It's healing that. It is rebalancing you. It's like all of a sudden your 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 cup is getting poured into and it's going to be overflowing with peace, with balance, with harmony. And that allows you to then move forward in your life and make the changes that you know that you need to make for your highest good, for your soul's highest good, even if your ego self is not exactly on board just yet. 
there's that voice inside of your head and in your in your heart speaking to you Pisces that will be impossible for you to ignore this month and that is the voice that you know you have to listen to listen to so there can also be an extraordinary healing for some of you in a relationship because anything that touches the first house of self will bleed out into the partnership arena and so you are I think you are very emotional this month but not in a weak way in a way where you are showing such kindness and respect for yourself that in a relationship dynamic you're going to get the healing that you may need you're going to get the the peace in this relationship if you need to forgive a partner for something then i see that happening this month and again it doesn't make you weak it doesn't it, it it's it's really heightened compassion but that relationship if it is worth saving then it's worth saving and you're certainly not going to throw it away but at the same time you're also making it clear in your life that you are a powerful spiritual person and you deserve the same empathy the same compassion that you've been giving to others all of your life in fact you're you're demanding it in a very nice way not in a nasty way at all but it's just an energy that you're going to be giving out this month and you're going to attract that towards you. And when Mars moves into your sign on the 14th, that really helps establish this. That really helps you get this. So on the 16th, we have a bit of a difficult full moon in Libra that's going to fall in your eighth house. And this full moon is making a, a square hard aspect to the planet Pluto now in your 11th house, your social 11th house. And I think that you may feel a little betrayed by a friend. There may be an issue here where you trusted a friend and you feel like that has been taken advantage of, that um, a friend has exposed a secret, or, or maybe you are feeling very vulnerable because you did trust a friend with a secret and that friend is somehow holding it against you. And I don't mean necessarily in a manipulative, manipulative way, but it could be in the way that your friend is deciding that he or she knows what's best for you. And now that you talked about this, this secret, this private personal information that you shared with your friend, he or she has decided for you that, well, you have to do this, Pisces. You have to do this. You have to make it right in this way. And so there may be some regret around this and some emotional stuff to deal with. But then by the end of the month, we have an amazing solar eclipse in Taurus that's going to land in your communication sector. And it takes the focus to learning, maybe short distance travel, uh, unexpected learning opportunity, unexpected communications energy, contracts to sign. Uh, if you're in the writing industry, you may have some very fast, fast projects that happens that you that you make a lot of progress on quickly this eclipse is making a beautiful sextile to mars which is going to be in your sign so there's something very unexpectedly positive that is coming from a third house subject whether it is communications sales marketing learning teaching could also be a sibling or a cousin that unexpectedly benefits you in some way so be on the lookout for that it just looks really good this is such a, a stunning month for you, more than any other sign. And I know that it's very spiritually directed, so it may not feel, as you're hearing me tell you this, you may be like, well, you know, it's not like I'm making a million bucks. It's not like I'm meeting the love of my life. It's not like I'm having, you know, my career dream come true. But guess what, Pisces? The truth is any and all of that can happen because the spiritual centeredness that you have now and the spiritual protection and growth that you're going through is taking you to a level that you've never been to before and the possibilities that are going to open up in your life are really extraordinary and you're going to understand this you will understand this as it all unfolds so enjoy your blessings there's a lot <laughs>